Ooh, love, 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 stunning. I love, love, love that. Amazing job. Okay, I think you've inspired me. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name's Emma Fave, and I am continuing finally uh, with my sharing your work series. I know it has been a long time. I only did two episodes and I have tons more to go, um, but it's just been a little crazy. Then I forgot about it, but now I've remembered. So we're gonna continue. So if you shared your work with us in an email, um, keep an eye out because I might be featuring one of yours. So today I am featuring five new artists that have shared their work with me and some of them have shared a little bit of their stories. So let's jump in and take a look. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you should totally do that. Click the notification bell so you are notified every time I come out with a new video. And as for these pieces of work, I am not here to critique anything. I am not gonna tell you what you can do better. I am simply just sharing your work with the YouTube community and telling you what I love about it because positive vibes all around and art is a very subjective thing and I don't believe I have the right to critique anybody's work. And so far what I've seen, what I've quickly gone through everybody's work, it's all gorgeous. So really there's not much to say. So I'm just gonna just share today. So that's what we're gonna do. So our first piece comes from Ken. Excuse me if I am squinting a bit because everything is written very small and it's far away. So I might be squinting while I'm reading this. Um, but this is from Ken and he actually has a YouTube channel. So all of the artists who shared their socials with me and their art, I am gonna put it in the description. So if you are interested, make sure you go and click on those social links so you can give them some love because all of these artists definitely deserve it. Um, he has a YouTube channel and he's 43 years old, an on and off artist. He's been consistent for the last four years. He liked to paint as a kid um, and he learned to design clothes from his mom. That's really cool. So I'm gonna show you, <coughs> excuse me. I'm gonna show you his work right now. We're gonna take a look. Oh, cute, I love this. Okay, so it's a sketchbook spread of many different things. Those are really beautiful. I love the orange. I love the colors. And the texture in the background, is that just like splatter? That's really pretty. Everything. That's so cool. And I did take a peek at his YouTube channel. Definitely take a look. Um, there's some really good videos on there. These are awesome. I love it. I love the variety. I love the layout of the sketchbook too. I feel like that's something I should do because I tend to just like paint on the full page and I just go for it. But I really like this little layout and you can paint little different things. This is so good, Ken. I love it. Love, love, love. And I love your channel. So make sure you guys all check it out. Good job. Thank you guys so much for sharing. Okay, so our second artist is NJ. NJ, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I am so sorry if I'm not. It says, I'm a pediatric nurse in an oncology clinic, a mom of two, very busy. Uh, started painting in July this year and it makes me so happy. Um, I learned some tricks from your YouTube videos and hopefully became better. The second picture is the favorite animal of my son. Last week was his birthday and I gave it to him as a present. Okay, and she's from Germany. So let's take a look. She sent two, so ooh, beautiful landscape. I love the color of the sky and the clouds. A little beach landscape, that's really nice. I really like that. And then the second one, ooh, is that a stingray? Oh my gosh, look at the blooms. Like I love watercolor blooms. Like, you know, okay, so you know what I'm talking about? Those like little cauliflower marks, which sometimes we don't strive for or necessarily want in our paintings. But when it's done for like a more abstract kind of piece like this, I absolutely love it. That's one of my favorite things about watercolor is those marks that you get, that's beautiful. And it just, it adds to that kind of watery element. That's gorgeous. So pretty, I love it. All right, so our third artist, uh, Belinda, I feel like I recognize your name from Instagram. I don't think I'm wrong. Belinda, uh, she's gonna be 70 in April, but she started at 65 to see if she could create art. She's in East Tennessee. She has a lot of nature there. She started with acrylics 
or acrylic pores and alcohol inks, but because of the dangers of those mediums sometimes, she decided to try watercolors and she found me on YouTube. And she also has her own website, which I'm gonna link below in the description. She says, I have fibromyalgia and I found getting lost in creating flips the pain switch off. I have your art boxes and brush set and I never miss your posts. Thank you so much, Belinda. That's awesome. Thank you for your support. All right, let's check out. You, she sent a few paintings. Ooh, oh, I love the colors in that and the layers. Like it's not a realistic landscape or anything. It's a bit more illustrative. I love that. That's a lot of fun. One with some darker clouds. See how you get like she has the um, marks in the clouds. That just gives like such a kind of moody feel to it with the the watercolor just doing its thing up there. I love that. That's beautiful. And then lastly, oh, that looks like some bleeding hearts. And I've been asked to do those a few times and I haven't. That's really good. And it looks like the leaves that you did for this one. Is that negative painting? Am I wrong? I feel that looks like negative painting. That's awesome. It looks like this kind of transparent kind of um, layered look to it. That's beautiful. Amazing job, Belinda. Really good. Okay, and then our fourth artist today, this is from Naomi. Um, a little bit about her. She said, I started painting back in 2021, shortly after having my second baby and getting diagnosed with postnatal depression. She also has a chronic illness and other mental health difficulties because of this, which I totally understand. I now use painting as an emotional outlet for me. I feel like so many of us turn to art and painting and especially watercolor for a lot of these reasons. Like you guys know that I struggled a lot with my mental health and that's kind of what drew me to watercolor as well. So it's kind of nice when you hear other people go through something similar and you're not alone. So thank you for sharing that. She said, I also sell my work and I tend to paint in uplifting colors to help improve the mood of myself and others. My work is very mental health focused and I tend to create some of my best pieces when I'm very mentally low. That's interesting. I find I have such a hard time doing that. Um, but maybe I just need to try and just paint moody, abstract. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> one of those pieces being this one that I have chosen to send you. It's different from anything I've ever done, being dark and moody, which represented me at the time of painting. I love how it turned out and feel proud of myself for doing something different. I felt the emotions leave my body as I painted this piece, and I intend to keep this one for myself as a reminder that I can get through the storm. I love that. Okay, I gotta check this out now. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. That's awesome. Look at I, this is what I love about watercolor. And I feel like this is something I fear of doing sometimes is using those more moody colors, even though that's what I'm feeling. I feel like as a YouTuber, I always have to keep everything bright and light and sunny and happy when sometimes I feel exactly like this painting. Um, but maybe like she's doing as an outlet, I need to paint my mood. I might need to do that today. I'm not gonna lie, I'm struggling a little today. Um, but yeah, that's really beautiful. And again, those those lines that you get from the watercolor blooms of just like the way that watercolor moves through paper and dries, like this is beautiful. I love that. And I love the little flecks of orange and blue. That's gorgeous, amazing job. Okay, I think you've inspired me. Thank you, Naomi. Okay, and so for our last artist that I'm gonna share, this is Amanda. She is from London, she's 35, and I literally just started watercolor painting back in March of this year, so I guess this was last year. I did this series so long ago, I apologize. On one of our country walks, me and my husband came across a beautiful Robin who followed us for ages singing and looking so happy. I recently lost my granddad and he reminded me of the pins we gave out at his funeral as a reminder of him. So let's take a look at the Robin first. Oh, so cute. It kind of reminds me of the one I did in my book, but I love Robins. I love their red chest. So cute. That's really good. I suddenly had the urge out of nowhere to paint this Robin. So I ran down to my local hobby craft and grabbed the first paint set paint set I could afford, which was a little travel Windsor and Newton Cotman pan set. From that day, I haven't stopped. I worked full time, so I haven't been able to paint and practice as much as I would like, but watercolor and painting has changed my life for the better. It has definitely helped my anxiety and made me so happy. I can't believe I didn't start it earlier. I'm not the best drawer, but I am trying to learn and better myself. 
I really love painting wildlife and botanical art. I haven't really got the hang of loose florals, but I absolutely love watching your channel. All have really helped me gain confidence and giving me knowledge of what art supplies to use, what reference books can inspire, and much more. I also started collecting gouache, which I'm actually in love with. It actually has made me understand watercolor even more, and I think I'm able to appreciate both more. I would like to get into mixed media, but watercolor will always be my first love. That is awesome. And then she also shares some of her socials that you can definitely check out. She said, my husband encouraged me to start an Instagram page to help overcome my anxiety and help gain more confidence with showing my art, and I think it has. I follow so many talented artists on there, which all make me want to want to better my own art. I don't think I've found my own art style yet or if I ever will, but the art I am creating definitely makes me happy and I hope it makes others happy too. This lemon painting, so good. I love painting lemons. That's like one of my favorite fruit. Is it a fruit? It's a fruit, right? <laughs> Ooh, some beautiful red. I think, are those lilies? I don't remember. They're not the big lilies, but they're smaller. I don't know if they're actually called lilies, but those are beautiful. I love the colors. So nice and spring-like. I definitely need that. And we showed the robin already. And then she also painted this beautiful fox. I am obsessed with the color combo here of the fox, like that reddish brown kind of burnt sienna look. And then the blue you chose for the background with the hint of gold stunning. I love, love, love that. That is beautiful. So good. Thank you so much for sharing, Amanda. And that's about it. So there are five artists. I promise that I will do more of this series. I have like all of them lined up and ready to go. I don't know why I have it. It's just kind of slipped my mind and then, you know, life. But I do want to get around to sharing more of your art because I forget how inspiring it is to also listen to your stories and see your art and the thoughts behind it because then it makes me want to paint. And so when I'm in a rut, it's probably a good idea to just look at what you guys are doing, hear your stories, and then paint accordingly because you guys are very inspiring and I love that you share and put yourself out there. So thank you so much to everyone who was featured in this video today. If you are watching, please make sure to look in the description, go and click on their socials, give them a little love and encouragement because putting yourself out there is not easy. Um, and I'm so proud of everyone that did. So thank you so much. And I will see you guys in our next show me your work video. Um, make sure that if you did submit something a while ago, I feel like I did this in August. I am so sorry. Um, check back because I might be sharing your work in our next episode and I'm going to try and do this more because it's so much fun. So thank you guys again, and I will see you in our next video. Have a great day guys. Bye.